ブリーチブレイブソウルズ。Alright, alright, guys, I'm back! So today actually we are gonna do a showcase on my fully transcended Neliel,、uh, Christmas version of course.、Uh, she's a blue hollow killer with 14 recharge. Unfortunately, 3 star defense, that's why I didn't want to make this showcase yet. Kinda, because like I feel like it's kinda just a waste, but it is what it is. I have rolled 200k transcendence points up to this point, and I didn't even get a true、uh, two star、uh, focus or two star SP, so that's why I just left this fucking defense right here. We are gonna rock her with 30% SP on the pill, 30% here, and also 30% here with strong attack damage and recharge. By the way, keep that in mind, this Ishida has level 10 SP, so we are gonna get more of her, I mean him,、uh, for additional SP. These are her skills Sprinter plus 1, Frenzy,、uh, Devastation 40,、uh, Debilitator for her Freeze, Bruiser 20, Freeze Duration 100. Berserker 20 and additional 2% recharge. So, yeah, actually, just she's an Arankar Hollow Killer. She's pretty good in the Hollow Killer IT and basically every single type of content where you have some Hollows. And yeah, you're just gonna try her at、um, Inheritance Zone as usual. We're gonna do a run like that, and after then, we're gonna do one more run of the blue single IT of today. Because, yeah, why not, you know?、Uh, we have here some Orang cards and Soul Reapers, so we are not gonna have some killer, but it is what it is, I guess. We are just gonna try her out.、Uh, first is a beam, second is a pull into the explosion, and sometimes it misses. Like, it is what it is. Yeah, we don't have killer. I really like her kit, as, like, I don't really have problem with not having Havoc. As usual, but yeah, she's kind of my favorite Christmas character. Like, I'm not even capping, like, she's just so good. Like, I like her、uh, skills and everything. Of course, she's not the best speed unit because we all know we have like Byakuya, Ishin, Basvi, Kirinji, but like, she's a fun unit, and I feel like nowadays. It's really just important to play with fun characters because IT is so fucking boring. Like, like, yeah. IT is so boring if you're only playing with a 5th anniversary Ichigo and Byakuya always because, like, I'm really just burned out of IT just because of that. Because you don't really want to use anyone else. And she's so cute at the ultimate, no cap. Like, this character is so cute. Like, yeah. She does a lot of damage. She's fairly decent. And she's cute, so. Yeah, she's basically a waifu material for, I don't know, Christmas, I guess. But she's really great. Like, of course, of course. As I said, guys, like, it's really just important nowadays to play with characters who you like to. Because, like, you're just feeling. Feeling so bored after like 1000 runs of IT with Byakuya, and you know, you get me? Like, I get that they are so broken, and basically, like, they are the most characters in IT, but like, ooh, I missed that strong attack, my bad. I'm not gonna cut that shit, like, I'm not gonna edit it out, so yeah. My favorite skill of her is definitely the second strong attack, and the first strong attack looks cool. And、as you can see, she, she's kind of freezing the enemy, so yeah, even though she doesn't have killer, she's, she's hitting a lot. And has a nice crowd control. Which really just. I mean, the second strong attack usually misses, but if you're playing with this character a lot, I definitely think you can get used to that range. And maybe just aiming better your second skill. Because, yeah, I haven't played with her a lot, that's why I'm usually missing the skills. But yeah, it's, it's cool to play with her. Like, do I recommend to transcend her? Yeah, definitely. If you like an LEL in general, and if you enjoy her skills, definitely. Like, because she, she's alright. Like, let me see the damage actually 2k without killer. 
Yeah, I mean overall the iron skin we can't really see the damage here because the iron skin is literally just a lot of damage reduction so it is what it is but as you can see you can literally just spam your skills of course it's not gonna be the fastest one but this is how she plays in IT she doesn't have killer but I guarantee that for hollow killer she's so great like she she's up there because she has freeze on her skills and because she does a lot of hits on the skills you're you're basically just after two strong attacks guaranteed to freeze someone like yeah she's very enjoyable that's for sure and her aesthetics are are great yeah I mean not really much to say about this but yeah she's cute Yeah, that was basically the runs. I apologize, guys, if you don't really like these type of showcases because, like, if you think these are, uh, I don't know, like, boring or something like that when I just talk about the character or my opinions. But I don't really like to just, you know, calculate the damages and this and that because fairly up to this point nowadays, if you have a character fully transcended and even if you have killer, even if you don't, you're basically just adding up like 4000 more damage or something like that you know like it doesn't really make a difference as long as you can clear the contents the hardest contents in the game it's basically the same shit even if you do like 10,000 damage even if you do 100,000 damage as long as you can wash out everything like you know it doesn't really matter the main important stuff is that we have to have fun like for you and she's a fun character but I don't know, I felt like nowadays I have to rant about this transcendence point system because it has been out for so long, these 20,000 points are not doing shit and you're basically working a lot on these fucking shits to the character and yeah man, like what the fuck and you're not even getting the guaranteed role or anything like that, you're not gonna go with defense, you get the point like. Yeah, and I still have a lot of characters here I wanted to fucking just transcend, but I'm not doing anything because they have 3 star f uh, stamina or I don't know, like, let's just say, um, what do we have here? Th yeah, I wanted to transcend also this Jushiro for a long time, he has 3 star attack. Like, you get the point, guys, like, I don't know, I feel like this shit should be fucking fixed because... Like, even this Yama is fairly good, and he has 3 star attack, like, I don't really want to waste any more of these fucking resources. This guy has 2 star attack, oh, like, like, you get the point, like, man, and you're just working a lot on the characters, and you feel like before even you transcend the character, you're just, don't even want to, because you don't have the perfect role for it, I mean, 2 star SP and 2 star attack, let's just say, is kinda alright because yeah for an SP based character 2 star SP is perfectly fine and for an attack based character attack 2 star attack is fine but yeah unless unless you have like I don't know 1000 focus I mean 3 star focus you're not really just gonna transcend the character with I don't know 3 star defense un unless you really just like that character you know because yeah, I like this Rukia, I like this Jushiro, I like this Tsukishima, I like this Koga. I, I have a lot of characters who I like, but I don't really enjoy them as much as this Nelia. You get the point, like, you know. It is what it is, I guess. But I hope Caleb is gonna fix this stuff. Before we end the video here, I just really just want guys you to appreciate how this Nelia looks like. Because she's, she's so cute, like, for real. Like... I don't really remember that I've seen a character for Christmas like this cute like I'm not even fucking joking like for real all right f without further ado if you enjoy my content guys like feel free to sub we are in a grind to 500 subs and of course if you have any ideas what should I do for 500 subs uh, let me know in the comment section below of course and uh, yeah as usual guys, wherever you are, have a great day slash night, and I hope I will see you at the next one. Bye bye.